Welcome to our lecture online. Now we've worked this problem out before using the traditional method of solving problems and we did get the correct answer. But since we're so much under a time constraint when we take the JE main or even the JE advanced test, especially then as well, you want to solve these problems as quickly as you can in a very easy method if you can get away with it. So let's read the problem and let's see if there's some shortcut method that we can use to solve this problem. An engine of a train moving with uniform acceleration passes a single post with velocity u and the last compartment with velocity v. The velocity with which the middle point of the train passes the single post is, and we get four possible answers. Now right away we can eliminate two of the four answers. I would not expect to see a negative there, and let me explain in just a moment why. Let's say that v equals 6, and that's one of the methods and u equals 4. This is one of the methods in which we can quickly figure out if the answers are plausible or not. So we would expect the velocity of the middle of the train to be somewhere between 4 and 6. Actually, a little bit closer to 6 than to 4 because since the train is accelerating, it takes more time for the, the train to go from the front, of the, train, the front of the train to pass the post and then the middle of the train to pass the post than to go from the middle to the end of the train. It takes more time so therefore, because of the linear velocity, you expect the velocity closer to 6 than to 4 for the middle of the train. So, let's work these out. If we take this, for example, for b, we get 6 minus 4 divided by 2, which is 2 divided by 2, which is 1. And of course, there's no way that the middle of the train could be moving at a speed less than the be beginning of the train. So this is not possible. And the same for this, 36 minus 16 is 20 divided by 2 which is 10 the square root of 10 is less than 4 so again a can also not be the answer thirdly we don't expect a linear answer we don't expect this because the train is accelerating notice that if we take 6 plus 4 divided by 2 we get 5 which is exactly in the middle which is not what we would expect so again that seems to be a non-plausible answer. We don't expect a linear answer which only leaves us one possible answer which is the correct answer. And quickly checking, notice we take the square root of v squared which is 36 plus u squared which is 16 divided by 2 which is equal to the square root of 52 divided by 2 which is equal to the square root of 26 which is bigger than the square root of 25 which is about equal to about 5.1. Notice, closer to 6 than to 4, that is what we're expecting, that has to be the right answer. And so quickly, throwing a few numbers together, we can pick the right answer and move on. And that is how it's done quickly.